Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will try to convert this following fractions to decimals and percentages. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Ituturo ko sa inyo yung shortcut on how to convert these fractions to decimals and percentages. Let's start with number 1. In number 1, as you can see, we have 2 over 5. And the basic thing you need to do here, first, you will divide 100 by 5. So what will happen? The answer is 100 divided by 5 is 20. Then after that, multiply it to your numerator. 20 times 2 is equal to 40. As you can see, since we have this 40 already, this will serve as your percentage. 40 and then attach mo lang yung symbol of percentage. Now, what about the decimal? For the decimal, since this one is 40, we will move the decimal point here, two units going to the left, one and two. And as you can see, that is 0 0.4 or 0 0.40. Parehas lang silang dalawa. Recap lang tayo. You have this given fraction. Divide 100 using your denominator. 100 divided by 5 is 20. That is 20. Then multiply it by your numerator and then you can have the 40. So that is the decimal and percentage. Now for you to understand well and to master this technique or shortcut, let's have the second fraction. 13 over 20. Divide 100. by your denominator, 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. Multiply it using the numerator, 5 times 13, that is equal to 65. Get the 65, we have 65, then attach the symbol of percentage. So after that, we still have to find the decimal. Move the decimal point from here, going to left, two units. So you have 0 0.65. And as you can see, 13 over 20 in decimal is 0 0.65. In percentage, that is 65%. Now let's move on with number 3. So I will adjust this paper first. 9 over 25. 100 divided by 25. The answer is 4. Multiply 4 by your numerator. 4 times 9, which is 36. Get this number. 36 for the percentage and then attach the percentage symbol. Now, for the decimal equivalent, decimal 1 and 2, so as you can see, you have 0 0.36 as an answer. I hope guys you learned something from those examples, numbers 1, and 3, 1 2, 3. So let's move on with our next set of examples. We have 4, 5, and 6. You can pause the video for a while and then you can use the, our same technique and convert this to decimal and percentage. You can pause the video for a while. Okay, let's continue. For number 4, we have 12 over 10. Now, as you can see guys, this fraction is an improper fraction wherein the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we will expect a whole number or in percentage we will expect that the answer is greater than 100% and for the decimal we will start with 1 point something so let me show you divide 100 by the denominator 100 divided by 10 that is equal to 10 and then multiply your 10 by 12 12 times 10 or 10 times 12 is 100 20. Get this number, 120 
100%. As you can see, that is greater than 100%. Now, what about the decimal? For the decimal, since we have here 120, we just need to move it to decimal places going to the left from this 1 and 2. And it will stop here. For the decimal, that is 1.20 or 1.2. Okay? Now let's move on with number 5. For number 5, 49 over 50. 100 divided by 50. The answer is what? The answer is 2. 2 times 49, that is equal to 98. 98%. Now, for the decimal, from this point, 1 and 2, so you have 0 0.98 as an answer. Okay? Now, it's your turn to answer number 6. As part of our routine in doing the video, I hope guys you can comment down below what is the decimal equivalent and percentage equivalent of the fraction 8 over 10. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to convert fraction, decimal, to percentage. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. And by the way, you can follow me on my social media accounts. You can follow me on our on our Facebook page, Ako si Teacher Gon. In our TikTok page, in our TikTok, we have Matt Teacher Gon or Ako si Teacher Gon. And don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!